Well, thank you for staying with us now, as part of plans of implement as part of implementation plans towards the realization of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. The Nigerian government is promoting active commodities market to leverage the country's comparative advantage of agriculture and solid minerals. A special advisor to the president on economic matters, Dr. Yemi Dipeolu, affirmed the plans at the roundtable of the Securities and Exchange Commission, noting that a vibrant commodities ecosystem supports effective price discovery. Let's take a listen. It is key to organize production in the agricultural sector so that every part of the value chain contributes to growth, starting with a strategic choice of crops. Agricultural research should focus on seeds that can substantially improve yields. Agricultural extension workers should be deployed to teach farmers best practices in planting, use of fertilizers and pesticides while farmers are enabled to access improved seedlings and mechanization. The ecosystem should be such that ensures uptake of produce at fair and stable prices, provides transport and storage facilities, and financing across the entire value chain, which should link aggregators to processors, who in turn should be linked to distributors and exporters. The establishment of the Technical Committee on Commodities Trading Ecosystem, which brings these actors together, and the organization of this roundtable are welcome examples of such inclusion. Efficient, dynamic, and responsive commodity exchanges lie at the heart of successful commodities trading ecosystems. In addition to spurring increased production and improving the lives of farmers, it will attract finance and investments into the commodity sector and help improve product quality while reducing post-harvest losses. In addition, Functional commodity exchanges can lead to the development of new financial products for the poor, especially peasant farmers, and also spur innovation and improved export performance. The plan for it going forward is for the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority to run it with a technical partner over the next three to five years. The intention is to make the NCX operational within an efficient time frame through the provision of finance for infrastructure development, engagement of additional skilled man management personnel, and upgrading of the trading platform. Once the operations of the NCX have been stabilized, it will be returned to the BPE for privatization. Just a few days ago, we were included in the top 20 performers in the doing business rankings. This is an effort that must be continued into the foreseeable future. In the area of infrastructure, the evidence abounds of the investment in roads and rail across the length and breadth of the country. As the President stated in his Independence Day broadcast just two days ago, up to 1.74 trillion naira was released for capital projects in the 2018 fiscal year, and another 600 billion is set to be released over the next three months. We will soon see a substantial and landmark transformation of infrastructural projects going forward. Another critical component of the commodity trading ecosystem is access to finance for smallholder farmers. This is why government is intent on revitalizing the Bank of Agriculture, and it's also why the anchor borrower system has been so successful. NISRA, the Nigeria Incentive-Based Risk Sharing System for Agricultural Lending, which helps to de-risk agribusinesses, has similarly been impactful. While the Nexim Bank Export Stimulation Fund would make a valuable contribution in this regard. It is important at this time when the African continental free trade area is moving into implementation phase to contemplate on ways in which Nigeria can benefit from the agreement. Most of the current intra Africa trade is in commodities, and the initial expected spurt in such trade due to the establishment of the AFCFTA will come from sectors such as mineral products, foodstuff, vegetable products, and metals, among the other things. A vibrant ex commodities ex trading ecosystem will position Nigeria to be able to take advantage of such export opportunities. Indeed, there is no reason why a repositioned Nigerian commodities exchange cannot become the place where the global reference price for some key commodities are established. There are undoubtedly many facets to building a strong commodities trading ecosystem, but one thing that must be emphasized in the, is the importance of partnerships especially between government and the private sector. Governments must, of course, engage strategically in the commodities trading ecosystem in order to help it consolidate. 
Certainly, once the commodity exchanges are up and running, the requirements of Executive Order 3 on support for local content in public procurement by ministries, departments, and agencies will have to be taken into consideration, especially with regard to government procurement of grains and other agricultural communities. While government will set the legal and regulatory framework, especially as pertains to tax incentives, licensing, and other related requirements, the private sector must also play a key role in terms of contributing to efficiency and good governance in the ecosystem, must promote active and transparent trading in commodity exchanges. This is important because price discovery, especially by smallholder farmers, lies at the heart of commodity exchanges in developing economies. The private sector should also make full use of the opportunities that will arise in the commodities trading ecosystem, such as storage, logistics, packaging, data services, training, and quality management. The success of efforts to energize the commodities trading system would also require public enlightenment and awareness. It requires consultation and consensus on the way forward, and it is therefore encouraging that SEC and the Technical Committee on the Commodities Trading Ecosystem have organized this roundtable to elicit perspectives of stakeholders, get the buy-in of policymakers, and encourage investments in the sector. Ultimately, however, the success of our efforts will be determined by the impact on the national economy, especially its contribution to growth and the improvement in the material conditions of the ordinary Nigerian, and in this particular, and at this particular time, smallholder farmers, but perhaps artisanal, artisanal miners in the not too distant future. It is my sincere wish that this roundtable will contribute to achieving the stated objective of building a strong commodities trading ecosystem for inclusive economic development. Thank you very much. And on that note of commodities exchange ecosystem, we wrap up today's edition of your program, The Capital Markets. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. I'm Edith Young Iwang. I'll see you next time. <laughs>